I wrote it a year ago, um, just fooling around. I, I was teaching out of school, it's, and um, I was just fooling around. I'll, I'll never, I'll never forget. I was fooling around the piano, like, oh, this would be cool, and I was going to give it to them. But then the lyrics, that first line said that she loved me, baby, kiss and don't tell, it's classified. Just those lyrics popped in my head. I was like, this may be a little bit too mature. <laughs> Do it like, eh, real romantic, you know? Dark chords. So on this track, I didn't record live drums, and a part of me wishes I, I did, um, but the reason I didn't, and this may be flawed thinking, I just, I wanted it to feel different than when you hear it live. Mind you, like, the way I'm producing things now versus how I did a year ago is all I think about is a live performance now. Before it was, well, all oh, the band would just play with this or or oh, this may never even make it to a live stage, but now it's like everything, at least for a day of stars, Brian Lamar and the day of stars, it's like, I want there to be a huge difference between when you listen to the record and when you go see us live, to drive that live experience. And so I kept the drums tucked and didn't, and, and just programmed them, right? And just programmed them because um, I knew Doug or whoever else I got playing with me on, on the set is just going to, the, the feel is going to be totally different. And that type of emotion, in my opinion, you can't capture it on record. That's a moment. That's a moment in time. You have to see it. You have to be there. And I think just, uh, and I like what I put down, you know, from a program perspective anyway. So we just kept it like that. And then it also gives us room if later we want to do a whole live album, we can and you'll feel it. What I always tell people when I write music, I'm, it's never just writing music. And I wish I could see colors, but I don't. It's, it's never been like that for me. I hate it. Like people tell me, oh, that's red, that's green. Well, hell, it, it looks like people to me. Uh -huh. And so for, for this song, it was, it's a movie. When I produce music, it's a movie. I'm, I always tell people I'm not a beat maker or, or a producer. I'm a film composer. I just compose the music before I compose the film. the piano, like against the piano, almost. I'll show you.
compliments that piano. story of love. I wanted to see big arguments in those big moments of the song. Like we're throwing plates and dishes and we're yelling and cussing and screaming and it's just chaotic. And then on those other parts where I'm singing, um, it's more romantic and it's more love driven and it's more embracing and it's more just, like I said, deep passionate kisses for hours on end and stuff like that. And so, um, yeah, this one just came from life experience and then just from my from my mind. Are we playing games? Oh, I don't know. Just say that you love. Place your fingers in mine and say that you're mine. Oh, mine. So for me, it's all about painting that picture, like that desperation. I want to hear that desperation in my voice. Say that you love me, baby. Like I'm begging almost. Kiss and don't tell. It's classified. Say that my heart is all yours. Say that you love. Well, say that you love. Like at first, I was I was very concerned with just saying the word "say that you love" too much and too often. But that's really the point of the song. Is I want to effing hear it. Like I want to hear that passion. I want to feel that that drive again. Like that first when we first met. Type like I could take off your clothes right now, but out of respect, I'm not. You know go from right when those vocals came in and just show you one by one. So what I did is I sung one of love me, love me, say that you love, kiss me strongly, and then sung a harmony, a third above that, I love me, love me, love me, whatever it is, and just kept building on top of those thirds. Inside of me, love me, say that you love, kiss me strongly like it's the last time Spotify, Amazon, SoundCloud, Vivo, um, what else? YouTube, everything, anything, Daily Motion, anything. Say that you love is going to be there. Brian Lamar. Follow me, like on Facebook and Twitter, follow on Instagram and, and Twitter, um, all social media outlets. We got to get this following up. Hey, I'll be 100% honest. I My goal for this year is to get Nick Cannon's attention at Incredible. At the incredible music label, or incredible music group. Um, I know some of the guys up there, uh, Trey Bug, shout out to Trey Bug and Quad. Like, those are good friends of mine. They've been showing me nothing but love for the past year and a half. And so, my goal is to get my following up to where I can grab the seniors up there, their attention, and be like, you know what, this is somebody we want to get behind. I can't do that without fans. So, I'm calling. This is a call to action right here, right now. Brian Lamar, a day of stars. Let's do it. Thanks. <laughs>